Scientists around the world believe that insanely deep holes are the secret to unlimited clean energy. This explains why humans have been trying to dig deeper and deeper holes for decades now. For example, Russia spent 20 years drilling the world's deepest man-made hole in 1970, before running out of money. And even though the abandoned site named Entrance to Hell now looks like an uninspiring manhole cover, Germany still spent the equivalent of 250 million euros trying to drill a really deep hole in the late 1980s too. But these were never quite deep enough. So what is stopping us from drilling even deeper down and unlocking this nearly unlimited supply of clean energy? And will plasma drilling be the answer? This video is sponsored by Brilliant. By going far down into the earth, it is possible to access geothermal energy from radioactive elements decaying in the earth's core. There is so much energy available from the earth's core, by harvesting just a tiny percentage of it, we could sustainably power the entire planet for millions of years. However, accessing this energy is clearly quite challenging, but that doesn't mean we haven't been able to access some of it. This video will cover three main ways of accessing this energy. The first two are widely accepted to work. However, new technical breakthroughs allowing humans to drill deeper than ever mean that the third, and by far the best method, should also now be possible. The first conventional method uses water or steam that has been heated by the Earth's core and naturally collected in reservoirs underneath the Earth's impermeable cap rock. In places like Northern California or Iceland, these reservoirs of hot water are close enough to the surface that they can be used to generate renewable energy. But this type of geothermal energy is very geographically dependent, as Northern California and Iceland have something in common. They are both perfectly located on the top of tectonic plate boundaries, where the huge irregularly shaped slabs of rock making up the Earth's crust meet. These boundaries are what makes the energy from the Earth's core accessible without incredible difficulty. As the energy comes up as hot water or steam, ranging from moderately warm to hundreds of degrees, it can be either used to directly heat buildings or to spin steam turbines and create electricity. So what about when we want to tap into this near endless supply of renewable energy, but we aren't conveniently located on a tectonic plate boundary? For example, in England. In a county called Cornwall, there's a place called the Eden Project. It has an old converted mining quarry with a massive rainforest biome that needs to be kept warm. So they've decided to use the heat from the Earth's core. To do this, they're using the second type of geothermal energy recovery. Here, developers create their own reservoirs to pump water into and then extract hot water from. At the Eden Project, this means drilling down five kilometers to create a reservoir that can heat water up to 180 degrees Celsius. This will have the ability to produce electricity or heating over 90% of the time, because the Earth's core doesn't care about the sunshine or the wind blowing. So this makes it a really promising project. However, this type of geothermal doesn't come without its own drawbacks. The process of drilling the holes is complex and costly. And due to the low energy conversion efficiency of these plants, the electricity generated is also very expensive. This is where the third and final type of geothermal comes in. By drilling down deeper than ever, the water can be heated to super critical levels. In this state, the water is highly compressed and combines the properties of gases and liquids. Importantly, this also increases the output power of a geothermal plant by 10 times. Such a huge increase in power extraction means the energy produced is also much cheaper. So why aren't all of the geothermal plants using water that's heated to supercritical levels? The issue is the drilling technology. As I mentioned at the start of this video, attempts have been made to dig very deep into the Earth's core, where it's hot enough to heat water to supercritical levels. But as you go further and further down into hotter and hotter rocks, the drills get damaged and are unable to continue. Thankfully, there have been recent breakthroughs in plasma drilling. With the increased funding into nuclear fusion, there's also been developments into high-powered energy beams. 
These energy beams can penetrate through the dust of drilling and provide efficient means of blasting away rock. Importantly, the plasma inducing energy beams don't care how hot the rock is that needs to be drilled. Therefore, it can keep drilling further and further, hopefully down to 20 kilometers deep. In fact, that is the plan of a business called Quaze, a spin-off from MIT's Plasma Science and Fusion Center. Whilst the Russian team took 20 years to drill approximately 12 kilometers deep, Quaze want to drill 20 kilometers in just 100 days using this new drilling technology. Quaze is currently working on a full-scale prototype machine, which it says will begin operation in 2024. As coal power plants are being phased out, Quaze wants to give them a new lease of life by instead feeding them with a supercritical water from a super deep geothermal well. With over 8,500 coal powered plants worldwide, it seems there's a lot of potential for rolling this out. Additionally, this would take up no extra space as the wells go directly down, which is a commonly cited issue with things such as solar and wind. This third form of geothermal energy that uses insanely deep holes could provide sustainable and reliable baseload power all across the world. To understand more about the physics of geothermal plants, I recommend checking out Brilliant's course on flow, which gives a great intuitive overview of fluid and thermodynamics. And you can try it for free at the link below. There are also over 60 other courses on STEM topics, including solar energy and astrophysics, which are all included in a Brilliant subscription. And if you use the link in the description, the first 200 subscribers can get 20% off. Each course is split into bite-sized sections to make it easier to learn, and they can help anyone curious about topics in STEM learn about the universe and the things inside it. I've really enjoyed working through a number of their courses, and I'm sure you will too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this one about a new innovation making solar cheaper.